Hello and welcome to our second video about combined element in our standard elements. This time we are combining two elements, the proportional element and the differential element. So again there is a differential element with them. This time we are talking about a PD element. Okay. So we are talking about the PD What is a PT element? What is a PT element? PT element has two members, of course. One. Second one. One is the P element. And the other one is the D element. And whatever comes out will be combined. Here comes something out, here comes something out, and in total we do have the output and the input is fed into both elements. Okay. Here we have the input xi from s here we have to have the output x o from s and here both are added to each other. Let's remember the transfer functions. The transfer function for the p element is just k. Okay. So here gp is kp multiplication and the transfer function of the d element we had it also in last last video is kd multiplied by s so jd is kd multiplied by s what is the total transfer function in this case g from s equals gp from s plus gd from s and this is kp plus kd multiplied by s now I will simply get out this kp here kp 1 plus kd divided by kp multiplied by s and this is again something constant yeah and I will call this simply t yeah td constant divided by constant yeah. so this is another standard form this is the transfer function and for the frequency response, I have just have to substitute this S, so it's Kp 1 plus J omega dt. Okay. Let's think again about the results. If we have here the imaginary axis yeah, and here the real axis. Here we have Kp, this is constant, angle 0 degree, yeah. and then we have 1 plus, and here we have omega dt, yeah. this is the other part, this is the other part here angle to coming from this so the total amount is the total amount of kp multiplied by square root 1 plus omega tt squared
And the argument of g j omega is 90, uh, 0 degree plus arcos tangens omega d divided by 1 omega d d. What does this mean? What does this mean in terms for omega equals zero? Yeah. Absolute value from zero is this will be one kp. Okay. If this is zero, this will only be one, one times kp. And the argument if this is zero, it's zero plus zero, zero degree. If omega goes to infinity, yeah, what would this mean? Yeah, it's kp multiplied by infinity. So it will be unlimited simply okay and the argument zero plus 90 90 degrees so this is how this will look like out from this, we can again produce the step response and the frequency response. So, again the sheet, you know this already. I'll write PT element. I will summarize again the formula. So this G from S is, I'll use this, K. 1 plus std okay or just or just by k and not kp because this p is just an index this time or oh, write it it doesn't really matter yeah that it's just a name so and the frequency response kp 1 plus j omega dt this means the absolute value from the frequency response is uh, kp multiplied by 1 plus omega dt squared. Yeah. And the argument of is 0 plus arcos tangens omega dt. These are the formulas. Yeah. Let's have a look. Let's have a look on the responses. Yeah. Remember the response of a D element, step response, looked like this. Yeah. So basically, it's zero here. We will go to unlimited, zip, go back to zero. The step response of the proportional thing, the step response of the proportional thing was just a step to kp. Okay. How will the combination look like? Zero and zero is zero. Yeah. Zero and unlimited is unlimited. Yeah. And then we are back at kp. This is the step response of a PT element. Just a combination of both. Okay. However, again, I can only determine KP. This DD, I do not really know. Okay. Good, let's have a look on the Bode plot. Remember the body plot of a proportional element? Yeah. It was k and zero degree. So the proportional part is k 
k I, is 2 in, in my case, so it's this line. And zero degree. Bust. Yeah. And now let's talk about the D element. Yeah. The D element. This line always ninety degree. Okay. And will grow. Here's this omega d. This omega d was 1 divided by kd. 1 divided by kd. So, I will just draw something here. I will say here. This is 1 divided by kd. And here we will pass. So this is the differential element. The differential Part. And here we are at 90 degree. Beautiful. Here, I s now I do not I do not multiplicate those two things. I do summarize those two things. Yeah. Here we have 2, and here we have, I don't know, 0 0.00001. Yeah. Two plus 0 0.00001 is almost 2. So here we are not noticing anything. Yeah. Here we will look like a plain D element, a P element. And suddenly, here, somewhere here, this 2 plus 0 0.1, we maybe know this already a little bit, but not too far. But here, 2 plus 2 plus 1 is 3. So here we are, here we're going up. Yeah? And here we do have the same issue. This is getting now higher and higher. 10 plus 2 is 12. So this is somewhere here. Yeah? And we will end up growing. Because here 100 plus 2 is 102, we are not noticing anymore. And here we end up growing with the D element. So here we are P element, then there's a transition phase, and then we are at a D element. Okay. Here, at this point, here the transition is happening yeah? and here what frequency do we have here yeah? here we have the frequency 1 kd yeah? 1 divided by kd and here we have this here is kp yeah? and here we have the frequency Kp, this frequency here, is Kp multiplied 1 by Kd. Why? Because here we have 1, we have the 1 line, and here we shall be at factor Kp. So we need a Kp higher frequency. Here the frequency is 1 divided by Kd multiplied by Kp, and this is Kp divided by kd, and if we remember, kp divided by kp is dt. So here, ah, yeah, kd divided by kp is dt, so here we have 1 divided by dt. This is this frequency. So, if we enter this frequency, 1 divided by dt here, yeah, g, from j1 divided by dt. What does it mean? It's kp1 plus j1 divided by dt multiplied by dt. It's kp1 plus j. 
45 degree. We are exactly at 45 degree. So, here is it, we are P element. Here we are D element. And here we are at 45 degree. Yeah? So, we make the transition exactly that way that we are here following the P element. Here we start the transition phase somewhere. And here we end up at the D element at plus 90 degree. And this fits exactly to what we have calculated here. At zero frequency we have zero. At unlimited frequency we had 90 degree. Okay. Again, totally different approach coming to the same result. That's not too bad if, some, if such thing is happening. Okay. PD element. You can see this peak here yeah, is also only more theoretical than a real element. But we will see if we then do pr practically the same thing with a proportional and a TT1 element. So the TT1 element from last time, we end up with a PTT1 element, yeah, but this will come later. Yeah. We'll see what this then means. PD element, transfer functions, frequency response, step response, that's it. Yeah. Next time we are talking about a very, very similar, but this time, or next time, this D will not be a D, this will be an I, PI element, very important element, very important element, PI element. Okay. For this time, thank you very much for listening. And goodbye.